Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Polly's Crochet Creations. I'm Tori, your hostess. So, I have been wanting to do this video for a while now, and um, we had a uh, family emergency, so I haven't been able to do this. But I'm going to do this now. Um, I wanted to do a review on the um, <clears throat> on the lollipop yarn, which is 530 yards, 485 meters, 8.8 ounces, 250 grams. It is a number five weight and it is, um, 6.5 millimeter knitting needle and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. It is made in China. Right there, you will see that it is made in China. Okay. Um, and this is called Soft Vanilla. Soft Vanilla right there. Okay. So they say this is a bulky five. And I am going to turn the channel, or turn the channel, sorry. I am going to turn the video around so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm doing a review on the Colorama, or the Lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, lollipop. And I'm also going to do a review um, with the... Caron Latte Cake. Now the Caron Latte Cake is a bulky five weight, 6.5 millimeter knitting needle, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. It is machine washable. It is machine dryable. You do not bleach, do not iron, and you do not dry clean. It is 58% acrylic and 42% nylon, 8.8 ounces, 250 grams, 530 yards, 485 meters okay and this I forgot to tell you that it is um, here's the instructions uh, it says machine wash cold do not bleach dry flat do not iron it is 58% acrylic 42% nylon okay so you have 58% acrylic in this one and 42% nylon. Okay. Uh, yeah, right there. And then in this one here, you have the same amount. Okay, come on. You have the same amount. 58% acrylic and 42% nylon. Now, what I've done is I have taken the, um, I'm going to take this off here so I can show you. Um, when I do the review, I have taken off some pieces um, of each of the items that I want to review. Uh, these are the latte cake and the um, mainstay yarn. Okay, so I've taken that off. These two here are the um, haze, Colorama haze, and it, this one is Day Dream, and the other one is Bewitching. I'm going to do a review on those two after I'm done the review on these two. Okay, so first, first thing I notice it is this is very, very floofy. And yes, um, I'm going to try and adjust my camera a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. Um, this is very, very floofy. I call it floof. Um, it is squishy, squishy soft. And um, Crystal is right. It does have a different feel to it. Um, it doesn't, it's not like the latte cake where it's silk. This is more floof. Um, the latte cake, yes, and you can tell the difference. You can tell the difference. This is floof, this is floof, 
and this is silk floof silk um it is soft it's silky it like glides on your hand and the lollipop just kind of floofs it's squishy and floof okay so i am going to crochet with this um both of them i'm going to take those strands and i'm going to show you um the close-up of the strands itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video i'm going to flip you into tutorial mode and then i'm going to take these two uh, So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to show you in tutorial mode. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see if we can increase the um, what I'm showing you. So sorry for the bouncing. Let's just decrease that a little bit. So what I'm showing you right now is I'm showing you the um mainstay the lollipop okay so we're gonna take apart a strand now if you see the lollipop has one two and three strands one of these strands have a little bit of floof on them that are uh, going through the yarn so it's kind of twisted a little bit it's loose but it's twisted and this is like I said three of the strands for the lollipop now, like I said, the lollipop, I find it's called, uh, for me, I find it's floof. Um, cause it's all puffy like a marshmallow. So that is the mainstay or the, yeah, the um, mainstay lollipop. Now this is the, uh, latte cake in uh, cream, I believe it is. And this is silky okay it is very silky now i'm going to take the strand out and like i said i put it on a bobbin and you can see the difference between the floof and the mains or the floof and the the um, latte cake so the the floof is just loosely loosely spun okay or twisted loosely twisted is what i'm trying to say now the latte cake is very well twisted can you see that see the difference the latte is very well twisted so that's the big difference if it's not twisted tightly you're going to get floof. If it's twisted tightly, you're going to get silk. Okay. The halo also is different on each of the, um, this is a shorter halo. Okay. And this is a really long halo. So I'm going to pull, we know that this is three strands. And one of the strands has little short floofs. Okay. And that's what make it that's what makes it marshmallowy. This one here, it has uh, let's just untwist it if I can. So we're gonna pull this apart. So we have three strands, again, three strands, two solids and one with the halo, okay? So this is the halo one. 
Now the halo one, it has, if you can see, it has a long halo. It has long little slivers off of it. And like I said, these are just yarns that are twisted together. Okay. And I know I should show you a different color, but because white on white doesn't really good. Doesn't really look good. But like I said, the latte cake is twisted finely. So you have a fine twist. The floof is loosely twisted. Okay. So, um, like I said, I'm going to show you the latte cake, the, um, mainstay. And I, like I said, the best description that I could have for the mainstay is that this is floof. This is floof. It's so much bigger. Uh, it's so much bigger. And I know I can't fit it in the, the um, screen the way I'm doing my tutorial. But it's so much bigger. And like I said, it just, to me, it feels like a marshmallow. It feels like a marshmallow. Um, and then this one here is the latte cake. And it's flat, silky, and smooth. So your, your twist is different. And that's what's going to cause the silkiness because the hair on the um, latte cake is smooth and silky. So what I'm going to do is, um, I don't have a crochet hook here that I can, well maybe I do, I can burrow one out of here. Yeah, I can burrow this one. Burrow this one. It's a four millimeter. So I'm using a little bit of the mainstay. As you can tell, it's the mainstay because it's floofed. And I'm going to just start with a slip knot. And one thing I will tell you is that when you're working with the mainstay lollipop, you will have to um, watch your stitches because it will be easy to um, split your stitches. So I'm just going to do a few chains. So it's working up nicely and you'll hear a scraping every once in a while because I'm scraping against the um, camera holder. So we're going to single crochet and the second chain from the hook. Okay. And then we're going to single crochet and each stitch across. Um, it is, I always have a hard time for the first two rows but this is co um, color. This is crocheting quite nicely. And like I said, you do need to make sure that you keep an eye on uh, splitting your yarn with the lollipop. I give the lollipop a softness. I give it a 10. I love the softness. It is silky. It is smooth. I'd love to have something made against, uh, put against my skin with this. Um, maybe a gorgeous um, shawl. Um, something like that. So, like I said, this is working up quite nicely. Yes, I'm crocheting slow. And I do apologize. Um... It's just the way that I'm working right now. I'm trying to find a way that I can actually do my tutorials and do my videos and not have anything in the way. This little doohickey thing that I bought um, through Timu, Temu, Timu, whatever you want to call it, it is okay, but it's not really working. Okay. Um, and that's, like I said, that's how the floof works up. 
Okay, maybe we'll do a couple, maybe we'll do a row of double crochets. So I'm going to turn around, turn around. My hands just don't want to work tonight. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to yarn over and go into the first stitch. Same as the chain one and then double the crochet. It works up very nicely. See, there you go. Splitting the stitches. Got to make sure you got it all. Okay, so I'm going to finish this row of double crochets and then I'll show you what the latte cake cut does when it crochets. Now, you're going to have more of a halo, I believe, on the latte cake than you will on the um, lollipop. Even though the lollipop has more floof, I think you're going to have more of a halo on the latte cake. I'm sorry, I'm just a little tired today. I hope you guys can't hear the TV. I didn't close the back door because, well, just didn't feel like it. I haven't felt like doing much of anything for the last few days. Well, that's okay. I'm trying to get back into the saddle now. Sorry, I'm trying to get... Watch the camera and crochet this at the same time and it's not working. I'm going to go off camera for a second and get that. Those last two stitches. Because the floof is kind of distracting me. And I'm sorry that I have white on white, but I could have picked out a different color. But I love the white. So if you're in a bind or in a pinch and, and you can't afford the latte cake, I really do hope that Walmart keeps these cakes in stock as a regular item. Because I love it. And like I said, it crochets up very, very nicely. Soft, silky, supple. So I'm going to put this off to the side here. And then I'm going to grab some of the latte cake yarn. And I'm going to do a slip knot. And like I said, this has got a little bit bigger floof. Yarn burf. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's just gonna give me yarn burf. Okay, that's okay. So this is the latte cake that I'm doing now. Um, as you can see, the halo on this is extremely fluffy. So the fluffier, the silkier. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. But I'm going to start with a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. And we're going to single crochet. If I can get in there. Like I said, the first and second row usually are the hardest for me to do. So 
So this is crocheting quite nicely. Um, if I was to be given uh, six balls of each, say six balls in a different color of the uh, mainstay, um, and I call the mainstay floof. I hope you guys don't mind me calling the mainstay floof because, well, that's what it reminds me of. Mainstay reminds me of floof. Latte cake reminds me of silk pajamas, I would have to say. So. And like I said, they both crochet quite nicely. Um, I have been using the latte cake in one of my Canadian, in one of my projects. I'm doing a um, virus poncho, a cobblestone virus poncho, or not poncho, but shawl with um, the latte cake. So, and like I said, this is I'm gonna do double crochet on the next round. So we're gonna chain one and then double crochet in that first stitch. And double crochet in the next. Um, it is, like I said, it is a very nice yarn. Both of them are actually very nice. But if you can't afford to pay $14.99, yes, that's what I said, Canadian, $14.99. If you can't afford the Canadian $14.99, I would buy the mainstay because the mainstay is nine ninety eight. You're saving four dollars. Um, and like I said, it's just a preference. And I usually use size five crochet hooks or size six crochet hooks, but I didn't have one right on hand, and I am working on a a very Unique pattern. It's my cobblestone pattern. Yes, I am in the process of trying to put them on PDFs, but it is extremely difficult. So, um, like I said, I'm going to do this review. So, yarn over and pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. So there you have it for the crochet. Um, and this one here. So as you can see, each, each worked up quite nicely. As you can see. This here is the mainstay. And it's floof, floofy. Floofy. And this one is the latte cake. But it's floofier. It's floofier. This one's more like marshmallow feel. And like I said, this is silk feel. So, mainstay, latte. Like I said, they're very, 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 very similar. Now, I'm going to pop you up and I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm trying to use my new phone holder. And it's not working. So. Just give me a... Okay, I'm back. Now, my opinion on the... Uh, mainstay lollipop yarn. The lollipop. Okay. To... The Caron Latte. Okay. Now. Softness. I give the lollipop a... Um, eight or nine out of ten for softness. I love how it feels. And it does... Uh, it does catch up on itself when you're trying to frog it, so you might want to be careful. Um, 
So it does catch up on itself. I'm just going to snip that. So when you're doing your, your, um, whatever you do, um, the lollipop will catch up on itself. Okay. Um, so that I give about probably a seven. Um, if you like it, um, and don't mind catching up on yourself, on yourself, then I would give about an eight or a nine. Okay. So the lollipop, I highly recommend the lollipop for uh, a backup. So if your Michaels does not have, um, latte cakes, this mainstay yarn will be an awesome, awesome backup. Okay. The latte cakes, I have used the latte cakes for quite some time. Um, I was going to show you a shawl that I made out of uh, some of the latte cakes. I do like the teal one. But, um, like I said, the lollipop is, price-wise, um, $9.98. $9.98 in Canada. Now, I would totally totally pay 9.98 in canada for this totally um i would pick this up over the uh, latte cake because like i said this is marshmallow floof <laughs> my words marshmallow floof this one here is silk um uh, silk uh fluff is what i call it uh, this is, works up really nice. Like I said, works up really nice for, um, the yarn itself. It does frog extremely easy. I do love how it frogs extremely easy. And like I said, it frogs extremely easy. Um, the price difference, uh, this is, the latte cakes is a lot more expensive. Um, in Canada, I don't think they have it on the ball ban here, but in Canada, one of these latte cakes is $14.99. Okay. Um, the lollipop is $9.98 or something at Walmart. Now, I think I'll be picking up the marshmallow floof, um, a lot more than the latte cakes um but i like both i like both it is very scarfable extremely scarfable you could make a pillow out of this and you could sleep on it that's how soft it is this one is soft too but it's a different type of soft this is marshmallow soft <laughs> For some reason, I'm just, for some reason, I'm just thinking of marshmallows. I have no idea why, but oh my God. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to do this comparison for, uh, the latte cakes and I had the white latte cake. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a comparison on the white latte cakes. I want to, and I will pull the other Colorama Haze out, but I want to do a, um, review on the Colorama Haze. Um, it, it, it's a little bit better than what it looks is what I'm going to say. Um, it's like, don't judge a book by its cover. Um, for example, you may have a yarn that is, um, it, it looks like it's extremely rough, but once you start working with it, that's really, really nice. Um, that's how I got hooked on the latte cakes. And I, I blame Coco from Cocktails and Crochet with Coco. Because she got me hooked on these latte cakes. So, um, like I said. A review. A showdown. We'll just call it a showdown. A showdown. Between the latte cake and the lollipop. Who is going to win? <laughs> so, I love them both. They are both silky soft. They're both like pillows. And 
I can tell you right now, if your Michaels does not have these and your Walmart does, I would pick the ones up at Walmart. If both places have them, and the, these are only in a limited amount of colors, um, I, if I can remember, I will pop pictures of the colors that this is available in. Latte cakes, as you know, latte cakes, we have a lot of colors in those. So, um, I hope that this helps you um, with your decision of latte cakes, whether you like latte cakes or whether you like um, the lollipop yarn. Okay, and I hope this, this has helped you to decide. If you get a chance to pick up the lollipop yarn, please try it because I was pleasantly surprised with this and when I when I first seen it I'm like feeling it and I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god I've got to send Crystal um, pictures of this because I love it so um, yes I do have Alina Dawn up there my mannequin head the hat that she is wearing is and yes i'm not wearing a hat um like i said it's been a heck of a week um the hat that she is wearing is the cobble bobble hat um so keep an eye out for more tutorials for more uh yarn reviews i do have a yarn review coming up on i'm going to actually do a yarn and hook review um but I'm going to do it on the Colorama Haze. Okay. And the hooks. I'm going to do a review on the hooks that were sent to me by my dear, dear friend Crystal. Um, if I can get into them. But the hooks are going to be on Pioneer Woman hooks. Okay. So my next video is going to be... Pioneer Woman Crochet Hooks. Okay. This is your basic standard hook. It's similar to the one that I have around the house here that I bought at Walmart when I first started crocheting. And I spent $24 on mine. Um, and these ones here are the Pioneer Woman. Um, and I will go into detail with these hooks. Um, I do love these color. I do love the colors. And the name is called Sweet Rose on this one. And the name is called Sweet Rose on this one. I love the flowers. I love the flowers. And that's given me a bonus point. Okay. So I'm going to pull the other Colorama Haze from what I was doing. And I'm going to actually do a review on both colors that I have. Along with the crochet hooks. I have this in a bag set up for my reviews. And that is coming very soon um i have so much to do this weekend so um but yeah that's coming up i hope i didn't talk your ear off too much and i hope you liked this review on mainstay lollipop versus Caron Latte Cake. It's a mainstay lollipop versus Caron Latte Cake. Hope you like the video. If you find something on YouTube that you like to do or are interested in doing, don't quit. Keep trying because eventually, um, like me, it's, it'll be like a light bulb goes off in your head and you'll be like, Oh, wow, that's how you do it. Um, and it's morning, early, early, early morning here. So um, you all have a great day, evening, weekend, wherever you may be. And you guessed it. You know it. It's coming. Keep on hooking. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.